Hi, Sally Rogers here. Welcome to day 169 of A Song A Day Keeps the Virus Away. Um, the song of Bill Staines has been in my head all week and I finally have given in to it um, to sing the Roseville Fair. I used to sing it when I was singing in bars in East Lansing for year after year after year and I, I got kind of tired of it to be honest with you and I haven't sung it now for years and years and years and I sat down today and started singing it and I must have sung it a dozen times and I love it. I still love it. it you know there's some songs that just uh, really stand the test of time. Now I'm not seeing any names there. I do hope you're there. It says that it's the public, I believe. Yep. So there must be somebody out there, I hope. Um, so anyway, I'm going to sing the Roseville Fair today. And also, I've got a favor to ask uh, you all. Yesterday, at, or day, day before yesterday, at the end of singing, I got a, a text in the messenger box from uh, a woman that I hadn't seen in years and years and years who informed me that a, an old friend, Jim Sigler, who produced my very first album, was in intensive care. He was intubated with COVID in Columbia, Missouri. So I was going to ask if you all could just hold my buddy Jim in the light. I believe that yesterday he may have been, he may have come off of the uh, respirator. Um, but after two weeks on the respirator, he's probably not in great shape. So um, just keep him in that light and, and, and think about him. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a chance to sing to him through some nurse's phone somehow. It's pretty hard these days, but anyway. Um, so back to the song. Here is today's song and uh, enjoy. Sing along. I'm sure most of you know this song. The night was clear and the stars were shining and the moon came up so quiet in the sky and the people gathered round and the band was tuning I can hear them now playing coming through the ride you were dressed in blue and you look so lovely just a tender flower of a small town girl but you took my hand and we danced to the music with a single smile you became my world and we danced on
Stains the Roseville Fair. Sure, like that song. Well, tonight I'm busy uh, with the Quiet Corner Song Swap. Uh, you still can register. Just go to the Facebook page of the Sing Quiet Corner Song Swap. You'll see the event there, and there's a link to register. And then you'll be sent another link, and that link will actually take you there tonight. I think we've got 67 people. That's the most I've ever seen in our song swap. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and also I want to remind you uh, about the Ageless Singer Workshop on, on Sunday. It's a, an open house that my, my sister's, it's my sister's company, the Ageless Singer, and it's for, particularly for women of a certain age, but I think men could come to this workshop on, uh, on Sunday. It's a, a, a free class on Sunday and sort of an open house to just see what, what kinds of things that they have to offer. So if you've ever thought you wanted to take voice lessons, um, Here's a very reasonably priced way to do it. It's free on Sunday. And um, if you wanted to sign up for her class, which starts in January, I was the first to sign up. Um, if you want to sign up for a class in January, um, it is a reasonably priced um, uh, workshop. I think it's 10 weeks long, once a week. And there are lots of uh, options for classes. So like if you can't make it one time on a Thursday, there's another one on a Monday you could uh, sit in and they also record the lessons so you can refer to them again and again and you can also go later if you miss the class one week so anyway it's a great class <laughs> it's really helped me a lot so i recommend it the ageless and uh with that i think i will bid you all a wonderful weekend i had a gorgeous day today walking out in the sunshine it was I finally 52 it was 23 when I started walking and it was 52 at the end of the day when I did my second walk so um, uh, have a have a great weekend and enjoy being outside I, you know what I recommend here's what I recommend we've started having dinner with people by zoom now that sounds like really stupid but in fact it's really fun we just set up one computer and we have dinner with one couple and every, everybody has their own dinner. We eat at a certain time. And uh, we sit down to eat. And everybody has their own food. We talk about the food. We talk about the recipes. We talk about the wine. Um, and we talk about our lives. And it's like having a chat over dinner. And I didn't think you could do it on Zoom. But you can if you just let it go. Instead of just be, trying to be so on the screen all the time, you push the computer back away eat your meal, have a chat, don't even look at the screen some of the time while you're eating, uh, but, but continue the conversation. It's really a great way to stay in touch with your friends, and it's a hard thing to do this winter. So just one little suggestion. So be well, be safe, have a great weekend. See you on Monday. Bye.